Hello everyone, in this series of videos I'm going to talk about Azure DevOps and all the features that Azure DevOps provides or has to allow you and your team to easily integrate, collaborate, uh, keep tracking code changes, uh, store artifacts from your resource, do some kind of testing and see the progress. All of that is possible in Azure and for free. You don't have to pay anything. Um, this is going to be the main uh, the main point of all my this series related with Azure DevOps. How you can use your Azure boards, your pipelines, your repositories, and your Azure Test Plan artifacts. This is the main page of the Azure DevOps documentation. Um, but I want to show you this all these components in the in the platform already. So let's go and start. Um, I have already have my email here, but the first time that you do it, you just need to provide your, your username and your password, and that's it. Um, I already have a couple of examples here, uh, but I'm going to create a new organization from scratch. What is an organization? An organization is the first level you organize everything in Azure DevOps. So you can create scopes. Uh, let's say I want to create something like overview demo. Uh, continue. I have to do this. I believe so. GP six J Y six W T. Hopefully it's that one. I don't know why it's asking me this time for this one. Um, but yeah, basically you create an organization, and then inside an organization you can create multiple projects. The source projects can be uh, public for everyone, or you can create it for all the people that you invite. I'm going to create an overview, overview project, maybe. And let's see, and then inside the project, then you can see you have all these main components. You have six main components. You have the overview project, the boards, the repo, pipeline tests, and artifacts. So in the overview board, um, you will see um, you, you have dashboard first, is the, the, the dashboard is where you can create multiple dashboards and the dashboard is where you organize and then you define trends, you define what you want to see, uh, let's say it's uh, data, for example. Um, then I organize my dashboard, like adding widgets to see how many bills are successful, how many, how many components, how, what is the bill history, how my test plans are doing is a lot of tests are running, which one are successful, which one will fail, and you can see deployment there. They have a lot of uh, components in the gallery, and then you also can add more components. Um, in the overview section, you also have a wiki. You can create a simple wiki, and the wiki is not so powerful as, let's say, something like Confluence, but allows you to define documentation for the first time. Uh, and then you do collaboration with your team. You can insert files, and then you can see you have videos, tables, uh, you have uh, Gemma content. That's pretty nice. It's pretty, you just need to play a little bit around with this. And then you can have uh, formulas, you can do query resolve. And let's say we can type anything here, anything here. It's pretty nice. Um, that's basically for overview. It's pretty nice it's for collaboration. Main, the main the main thing is for collaboration. Then in the board section, you can go and what is the board? What is the board? The board is where you define your item, your work item. If you have previous experience like something like Jira, this one is going to be the same. Your work items can be a user story in a big issue. This one is by default. Uh, a methodology provided by Azure, but then you can change this one to something like a Scrum, Kanban, any uh, that kind of thing that you want to use. It's really flexible. Um, I don't I don't provide too much details on these ones because I just want to give you a really high overview. But I will make future videos uh, uh, with more detail about what 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 is the main what are the functions of board. Um, then you have the board section. Then you can see. Um, you can see if you add an item, my future one, right? Uh, you, you can see the there is three main state like doing um, is dynamically changing to undoing to other color to DOM to complete it. Uh, you can open an item um, and then you will see more details about uh, you can assign to a person, uh, to, you can describe what is the future, you can define priorities. 
a lot of things even if you have you, here you can see that you can create a branch based on this word items pretty flexible just need to play a little bit with this all these uh, features and then the buy logs the spring the queries a lot of everything that we use in our scrum or agile um, software development is already here the other component that is also really amazing is uh, the repos actually the bots allow you to use repositories without uh, you don't have to pay anything um, you don't have any limit on how many repositories you can create you don't you don't have any limit how many users you can add to the project and use this repository and also you can import repository from other sources like uh, github bbucket um, etc it's pretty nice and then you can see all the features um, that are required for the repositories like uh, I want to see the commits how many branches do I have I don't have any code right now but uh, it's pretty simple um, like uh, if we go here and say let's say I want to add a new repository um, let's call this one demo demo repo and let's go to add some sunlight read me file and then you can see uh, we don't have any we have the first commit is just a readme file and you can see the branches is only master you can create tags on, the, on that branch everything is pretty flexible also you can do pull requests if you have any changes and the third elements here is the pylimes what is a pylime pylimes is really powerful they have a lot of billing tasks already pre-configured you can do you can compile a code for uh library for .NET, for Java, you can create packets for Python, you can do things with any kind of shell like a PowerShell, uh, Bash, you can use uh, agents like uh, for Mac agent, um, uh, Unix, Ubuntu, different flavors, you can use Windows servers, etc. You, you can configure that kind of thing for your builds and then you can create a release and then release allow you to define different environments. Uh, there's a lot of points here that I want to try in future, um, in future videos. So I, I won't talk too much about this point, but it's really powerful. Also, you can define your pipeline by UI, or you can use it as configuration as go uh, using YAML configuration. It's really amazing. And the test plan is more focused for the QA team, but the whole team have benefits on this one. You can define manual or automated testing, and then you can see um, different, uh, you can see different uh, reports about how your testing is doing, is failing, how many successful, that kind of things. Pretty, pretty valuable for uh, QA team and also for operation, and everything is for free. And the last one is artifacts. Artifacts is like is a repository for your artifacts. So you don't need to worry anymore for something like, okay, I want to try something, but I have to pay for Nexus, uh, or I have to pay for X3 because or my artifact I have to pay for a little bit, but I have, it's still I have to pay. You don't have to pay anymore if you are using artifacts. And um, you can see version. You can create rules for your your business. It's really powerful. The really nice things about all this with Azure DevOps is free. You can use it. You don't have to pay for anything. Even you don't pay for any usage and have a lot of integration with other tools, have integration with Azure, main, 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 the main integration with Azure when you're talking about pipelines, and um, it's really amazing. Uh, if you go to the Azure DevOps, uh, Azure, uh, let me see, they can go there, dev.azure.com. Uh, let me log out here and let's see if I can go there, devazure.com. In the main page, this is the main page for all the documentation. You can see all the details here, really with Azure DevOps, uh, PyLAMP, repos, artifacts. It's really, really amazing documentation. I recommend you to start using this one, this tool. Um, if you have any questions, if you, have, if you are interested in any future that I didn't mention here, that you need to know more about this, uh, this platform please let me know let the comment in the video if you like and subscribe it um, this I will start making a lot of videos about this one a lot of people are using Azure DevOps um, I really like it I really recommend it and they just I'm going to start doing all these kind of things thank you so much have a wonderful day